What's up, race fans? Jimmy Holly and Daniel Blair of Race Day Live presented by Emsol. This is the official post-race show. Jim, I've lost my voice. We're inside. The weather's coming down. Crazy night of racing. Adam Cincerello gets the win. Jason Anderson gets the win. But there's some other storylines at play. Championships were won tonight. Well, you talk about that championship on that East Coast. What a championship fight it was. I mean, we saw it all night. We got to that main event. Savachi was in a good spot. He makes a little mistake there. Jordan Smith makes a bigger mistake. And the, the biggest mistake of all, Osborne going down in that first turn and having to come back. And everybody was watching. Adam Cincerillo was gone. The West Coast champion, Justin Hill, in that second spot, he was secure there. Aaron Plesher are coming through the pack. He finishes up third. But all eyes, that last five minutes of that race, were watching the number 16, seeing if he's going to catch the number 17. And he did catch him. And it was not quite the last corner, but it was the corner before. And that was the championship. Osborne finishes up seventh. And, uh, you know, he pushed uh, Savachi out of the way, but you know, Savachi just rode tight. I mean, you could see it, you know, that was not the joy of Savachi that we saw all season long, and uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, I mean, Danny, I've been in a lot of races. I've been around a long time. I have not seen a guy that wanted it more, and we talked about it on the show, who wants it more? Well, Osborne wanted just a little bit more than everybody else tonight. And he is the champion, and in the 450 division, Jason Anderson is the big winner on the night, but of course, Ryan Dungey, Eli Tomac, all eyes were on them as well. They were both out front. A little bit of strategic racing going on with Eli. They went back and forth. They went back and forth all the way to the very last lap. Ryan Dungey wins the championship. Well, he does, and, and Anderson gets that win that eluded him. He's had podiums before, and he said, you know, look, I want to try to get a win here in 2017. He gets that win because that last corner, you know, Dungey passed him, goes over the trail, left the door. I'm thinking, why are you leaving the door? You know what Eli's going to do. He goes up and tries to block. Anderson says, hey, thanks very much. I'm going to square back down underneath. I'm going to win it. Second spot uh, goes to... Uh, Eli Tomac, Eli for, the Tomac night. for the night, and then third his teammate Josh Grant rode really well tonight. Finished up his first podium in 2017, and Ryan Dungey takes it home in fourth and wraps that championship of the fourth of his career and three in a row now. And uh, the big question mark is: Is this the last time we see Ryan Dungey at a Supercross? I know he's going to probably ride the outdoors. He'll announce later on, but uh, in my opinion, I think yeah, that might have been it because this season took a lot out of Ryan Dungey. This was one of the most wild seasons we've had in recent years, but was there a wilder night than here in Vegas in both classes? Well, and the thing about it is, is, is I haven't seen one of those wild nights, and afterwards, the skies opened up and it rained. So, I mean, we just missed the rain. You can see the track. It looks perfectly watered right now. This is what we needed a little all bit earlier. All the watering that they did all day, This that was it right there. That, that was, was enough. It. That was it. But, no, I mean, just great championships uh, on the line here. And I, I think that, uh, you know, we saw that, you know, hey, Supercross is in a good spot going into 2018. That's for sure. Well, for Jimmy Holly and Daniel Blair, this is Race Day Live, presented by Amsoil, the official post-race show in 2017. It's over. Thank <laughs> you.